What's up, y'all? It's Ryan Martell here, Martell's Movie Madness. And today I'm coming here to talk to you about the From the Grindhouse to the Art House series at the Independent Picture House in Charlotte. This is a cool thing I'm doing uh, with part in partnership with the IPH. And I want to first express gratitude that they allow me to do this. And second, I want to tell you guys a little bit about the series. Uh, in case you didn't see any of the promotional material that the Independent Picture House put out when we first started this a couple months ago, uh, this is basically a, for the most part, is a series that is kind of focused on the restoration of genre films, uh, stuff that's a little bit weird and off the beaten path. Um... But also stuff that kind of is just like an endearing cult classic for the most part. My my focus is going to be trying to get movies that I think are underseen and underappreciated on the big screen so that people can come out and maybe people who haven't seen them before will come check them out just because like, you know, oh, this is one of Samuel L. Jackson's first movies or oh, this is an early Reese Witherspoon movie or even if it's something like you know, oh, I heard this director went on to do this, that, and that, and other, and then, or just something random, completely crazy, like, you know, there's a, a different style that you've never seen before, or something you want to dip your toe into, um, but it's mostly going to be different kinds of, like, uh, exploitation movies mixed with, like, horror, mixed with action, uh, just different things that kind of all fall under movies that would have been or were shown at grindhouses that now are being finally appreciated as the art that they are and being played at the Independent Picture House, which is a independent art house, foreign, uh, just all around stuff you're not going to see at the big chains, the Regals, the AMCs. And I'm thrilled to be bringing it to y'all. Uh, like I said, we've already done this two months now. Uh, the first month we did Rock and Roll High School, which was back in March for Musical March. April we did Freeway, which is a fairy tale themed um, month. We're doing April fairy tales. May is a little bit more of a free for all. Uh, this month we're going to be doing Empire of the Dark. Uh, I don't know much about this movie. I'm going to be real. Uh, Jay helped me do this. Uh, Jay Morong from in the Independent Picture House and Charlotte Film Festival. He helped me with this, and uh, this was one of the ones that he picked out. Uh, actually, it was the only one that he picked out, but um, it seems promising. He, he speaks like it's a pretty entertaining experience, so I'm looking forward to checking that one out uh, for the first time with you guys. So come on out. Let's experience some new movies and... Yeah, I mean, and they're, they're discounted ticket prices. The tickets are 8 bucks instead of 10 So, you know, come on out. Get some good popcorn because the IPH has some of the best popcorn in town. And they just have an overall great aesthetic at the theater, too, because, like, everything is movie-centric. And in the bathrooms, there's, like, old movie uh, theater ads in the, like, from the newspaper that are just kind of plastered up on the wall. And that's really cool. But yeah, come on out, Independent Picture House, from the Grindhouse to the Art House. Uh, we start May 26th, I think, with uh, Empire of the Dark. Uh, so that one's, that's going to be the opening night, and it's going to show the 26th, the 27th, and then again on that Wednesday. Um, yes, but look at all the, I'll put a link in the description for this, for ticket information and all that. So come on out, hang out with me, and let's watch some fucking movies.